So first things first is we're gonna use our bib clip for our patients. This will ensure that they do not get perfect paste on their jackets. Put one piece onto our bib. We're gonna go ahead and come around our patient like so and attach on the other side. Then our patient will go ahead and lean back. Typically we do this when the kid's sitting up, but just for this video's purpose. Then we're gonna make sure that we select correct glasses. And making sure that we are in the correct position, we're gonna turn on our light and angle it at the patient's mouth. Then after the patient has picked out the perfect piece, we're gonna rip off the tab. Put the trash over there. I personally put my profi paste in between my two index fingers. Then from there, making sure that our hoses are tucked underneath, I'm going to spin the profi, pushing the pedal down on the ground to collect some profi paste. Using this hand, I'm gonna up and retract our patient's teeth, and I'm gonna go. As I'm brushing, what I'm doing is I'm taking this and I'm looping it around the patient's teeth, making sure that we see that white blanching how it turns white in color right there. That will ensure that you're getting underneath the gum line. Currently what I'm doing is I'm brushing all of the buckle and facial surfaces. Always making sure you're retracting the cheek and never pushing this like this. Push your toothbrush in and retract. Now we're going to go to the lingual surfaces, making sure we're always retracting the cheek. Up to the other side. Kind of doing a swirling motion with this. I'm never doing this, only moving this portion here. Then from there, we'll go ahead and do the occlusals. Making sure you go up on each of the cusps. You know how slow profi this is. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my suction. Now this will be my tool as I brush the bottom teeth. The reason I use this to retract the cheek is because saliva glands are down here and you're much likely to get a big pool of saliva when brushing. Taking this, again, utilizing the fact that it spins, I'm gonna pull and retract the cheek. Take this section and place it close to the profi head. I'm gonna go ahead and do the buckles of my teeth. Now I'm gonna come over to this side. Using this, I'm going to pull out the cheek and place this in there. Same thing, having the suction close along. There, the second the beneath bit. Now we're gonna go on the lingual surface. And I go ahead and do the approval. Retracting the cheek with the suction, doing the lingual surfaces. Now approval. Now for anterior teeth, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and retract the lip with our fingers, okay? I'm gonna take this and I'm going to angle it in between each of those contacts. So one side, the other side. One side, the other side. If we just take our profi and push like this, you won't get the whole tooth. So we're utilizing this is a great way to ensure that you're getting in between each of the contacts. Now that your profi is complete, place down the thing there, you're gonna take your air water tip. Again, the left side is gonna be the water, so the right is gonna be air. Using this, you're gonna retract the teeth and go ahead and just kind of spray at the extrusal surface. Slowly retracting this section. We'll repeat the same so we can turn. Stay open. Stay open on the wall. And go ahead and close. Tip that I would recommend is that when you have your patient close, go back from them because sometimes their saliva will spill down onto your leg and you don't want that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick up our mirror and our explorer. Okay. This is very sharp. So make sure that you're being careful not to hurt a patient. You're going to have your patient open big. When placing these instruments in the mouth, you always want to do a sweeping motion, never just sticking straight things in. <laughs> Especially with this, because if you go through like there, you could cut their lip, okay? So we're gonna use this, and first thing we're gonna do is I like to go to the upper left-hand corner. Using my Explorer, I scratch on the occlusal surface. I'm using direct eyesight, looking in the mirror to see those teeth, okay? 
So as I do that, I look here, go along those occlusal surfaces. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retract and kind of go from the side. That way I'm able to see the buckle. From there, I scrape those buckles because that is a really most that is the most common area where people leave plaque. Then I'm gonna come to the center, check lingles, see how those pits look. Then I'm gonna come over here. Now for this side, I'm gonna actually use direct vision. I'm gonna pull the cheek and retract. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape those buckles, but I'm still gonna check those occlusals. Now notice how when I go to check those occlusals, I'm not just pushing this straight in. I make that swooping motion just the same. You never wanna cut a child. Next thing I'm gonna do is check down on the bottom, see if there's any calculus. Again, using indirect vision. And you'll notice that even as I'm using my Mirror and Explorer, my body posture is still the same. Those elbows are in, I'm sitting at a straight back angle with those feet planted firmly on the ground. Use your mirror. Don't bend your body. You don't wanna do that. You wanna be using your mirror the entire time. We're gonna go down. Now using the mirror, I'm gonna retract the tongue, okay? For this side, I'm gonna use that mirror for that vision, okay? I'm gonna use this to directly scrape. Then I'm gonna pull it out and check those buckle pits. See how those are looking. Now I'm gonna hop onto the other side. Again, using the mirror, I'm going to retract, check those buckle pits, the occlusals. Now I'm gonna use my mirror to look into this, and see if there's any plaque buildup, scraping along those linguals. Lower linguals and upper buckles are the most common areas to add plaque. Back together, looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and floss. Because this is not a lap to lap exam, I'm gonna be using our strength floss here, okay? Now, like I said in that first introduction video, you never wanna just grab this because you're gonna contaminate it. What you do is you grab the piece of floss from the center, pull it out, and then you're gonna just push it down, okay? When flossing, you wanna put it on your two center fingers there, okay? This will then allow the index finger and the thumb to manipulate between contacts. Now you're not just popping this in and out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place it down along the tooth, scratching the tooth on either side, okay? In between each time you floss, you wanna make sure that you run your finger over it. That will ensure that you're removing any floss that the, or any plaque that the floss might have on it and not just pushing it into another contact. As you go further back, you can unwind to get further back and if you come more forward, you can rewind your finger to make it smaller.